Okay, great. <laughs> so what, what got you into blogging? I started really with, with my own or ordinary web page uh -huh. because I saw from the start that the web was going to change uh, everything. Right. When was it, this? 1992. 92, okay. Um, so the, that was, I mean, the web was very, very young. Um, but I directed a uh, in-service course for librarians. Okay. And with my brother, who is also uh, in, 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 into web. <laughs> we taught them HTML. Okay. Well, actually, in 1993, uh, that right. was relatively early. Okay. Uh, and then I started to use uh, the web in, in my teaching. Oh, okay. So, about think, eight years ago, I moved from uh, word processing into putting everything on the web. That is using the web as a normal way of, of as writing. A, as stuff. a publishing tool, you mean? Yeah, as okay. a publishing and teaching. But it was only in 2004. I was writing small pieces of news on my regular website. Right. So it looked, so it in a sense it functioned so, a bit like a blog. Right. But I didn't use a, a blog tool. Right. In 2004. A friend of mine gave a course on, on Web 2.0. Oh, okay. So I got introduction to blogs and immediately and I thought this was the way to Okay, that was it, okay. So I've blogged since 2004 and after a year or so I started to blog every day basically. Okay. So what, do you, what do you blog about? Because most of the stuff you write are in Norwegian. Yes. Right. Yeah. Um, it is a professional blog in the sense that I write for the library community okay. um, about library affairs, but in a, in a wide sense. Okay. But since the blog is informal, uh, <laughs> I have much more freedom than, okay. than, than in a professional publication. And since I am a statistician, I write quite a bit about uh, library statistics, okay. but also about library policies, lots about uh, library 2.0, okay. and comment on local library politics, okay. sometimes try to push <laughs> okay. things a bit. <laughs> uh, so, I, yeah. as an academic, I believe you have to, to do a lot of writing, so how do you find time to do your blogging as well? Uh, actually, there's I find there's no contradiction because uh, I mean blogging serves as a kind of prelude uh, preparation for for more both teaching and more academic mm, writing. Okay. Um, well, this autumn I'm I'm reaching uh, blog post number one thousand. Oh, okay. <laughs> so uh, I have the idea. I may kind of reduce the number of posts right. per, per week. Right. And you started in 2004? Yeah. Okay. Um, because I, you know, I have, <laughs> I feel, half a dozen unwritten articles. Right. So, so in a sense, I really gathered the information and developed arguments and so right. on. And I need to sit down and do some right. uh, focused academic writing. Okay. Yeah. So, when do you start noticing that uh, Norwegian librarians were reading your blog? Um, well, the, the moment... Well, even before I started the blog, I, there were some comments on my web... About, oh, my, on your web, website. about my website ah, okay. on other blogs. Right. Um, and of course, the Norwegian environment is, 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 is a small one. Okay. So I hear from... I mean, I, know most of the, right. the people who, who might be interested. But the big thing was moving from Blogger to WordPress. Right, okay. You, you use Blogger. I use Blogger, yeah. yeah. But WordPress has, uh, has inbuilt statistics. Right, so, right. So it means I can follow every day right. how, many, how many people who visit and, and what they okay. do. Okay. 
a well, blogger you can do that but you have to get an external yeah, yeah, yeah. A special yeah. Right. yeah so so you you lecture right yes and do you encourage your students and your academic peers to blog yes you do um, the last two years I have tested out blogging in teaching situations okay having courses I ask my students to set up blogs okay um, this summer uh, we gave for the first time a summer co in, an international summer course national uh, summer course inter international oh international summer in, course in English okay which might actually be of interest okay <laughs> to, to your friends as well right um, we had uh, four participants from China okay three from Sudan and several from Eastern Europe. Um, but there the, we used WordPress as a learning platform. Okay. Because WordPress it started as a blog tool mm -hmm. and still is, is a, right. a, an important blog tool. But it, you, you can download it on your own server right. for free. Right. Um, it is more and more developing into kind of content management system, okay. kind of general publication system, right? And it's uh, it's being used in teaching, okay. in several places. So we did that in Oslo this summer uh, at a summer course called Latina. 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 Learning and teaching. Oh, that's an acronym. A, in the digital world, it's an acronym. Ah, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Um, so I imagine the students had to create a blog as part yeah, of their and course. All the, so the whole course was designed around a blog platform. The, the students created blogs. They used Gmail, used Google Docs. Okay. Uh, use tools for for storylines. Okay. Uh, so it sounds like a course to introduce them to Web 2.0. Yes. Uh, it's a kind of combined e-learning and digital libraries. Okay. Very practical, very intense. Okay. Very interesting. Do you face uh, resistance from your peers, especially your academic peers, uh, yeah. about blogging? That not resistance. No. I wouldn't say resistance. I okay. would say feed dragging. Feed dragging. <laughs> okay. What about skepticism? Yeah, but it well. It, there is some skepticism, but it's okay. hardly ever expressed. Right. <laughs> Maybe it's the Norwegian culture. <laughs> no, but they see how many things are happening so fast. Okay. So it, I think many people feel this is going too fast, but they don't want to discuss it. Mm. They, uh, because it, it's hard to find arguments. Right. It's simply that... Uh, Many people become uncomfortable because if if they want to be on the train, they have mm. to change their way of working. Yeah. Well, how how has blogging helped you professionally? I think the main thing is it stimulates creativity. Okay, for yourself. Yeah, and participation. Uh. Uh, so I mean, being it's very nice being read. Okay. <laughs> And, and having the feeling that the professional work you do and the arguments you come up with, they actually have some impact. All right. And it's a two-way process because people comment and there are small discussions. All right. So I have the feeling now much more than I had before in the sense of being part of a living professional community. Mm, okay. Okay, we'll stop the interview. Yes.